what we've done so far. So, what we've done so far is to import some data. So, let's give that a try. I have my data stored under my Bridgeport folder. So, I'm going to go to my documents. I'm going to go to Bridgeport. I'm going to go to our class. wrong class. Now we have the right class. I have my data. And I am going to choose to partition it. It is a spreadsheet. So all I have to do is hit the execute button now. <clears throat> and the data will start loading. Is, do I want to install the package? Yes. Okay, so here we have says that there was a sign saying there was more than one risk variable so forth but we're not going to pay attention to this so first of all we say that individual ID is not an input it is an identifier response channel code is not a, a it is not a target it is an input same thing with event ID it's actually not an ID these are actually categories so it's not part of the risk pool, it's an input. So we scroll down, here we have something else on risk, which is risk insight. I say no, it's not risk, it's an input. And we have converter, which we want as the target. If converter is the target, we cannot have converter tell cells as an input. Therefore, we have to ignore this variable. Okay. Now, examining here, we have generis, which is generation clusters, which is numeric, and it shouldn't be numeric, it should be categorical. It reads it as numeric only because these categories are 1 through 52, although we have 43 unique values here. So, I'm just going to hit execute so we can save the changes that we've made. and I'm going to go to transform to take care of that categorical variable so I'm just going to highlight generis I'm going to say I want to recode it as categoric again just make sure it's highlighted double checking hit the execute button and it's working okay we're good Let's just go back to the data piece and we see that we have a new variable called TFC generis. It is categoric. That means transform categorical, taking a very, very wild guess here, generis. Generis is now being ignored. Great. So now we're going to go to explore button because I want to explore my data. I'm going to do some summary. Describe, basic, kurtosis, skewness, and I'm going to hit the execute button. Asking me to install something. Yes, yes, yes. More, installing more stuff, yes. Okay. So here we have some output already. So in the summary, again, you just have a list of all your variables. It tells you levels, uh, integers, so forth. You can check. And now you have your categorical variables, response channel, ML, PH, WB, mail, phone, web. 
So we have all of our distinct event IDs. Politics, Insight, Democrat, Independent, Republican, Unidentified. Religious Insight, who knows what these codes means. Religion Insight, C, J, P, U. Uh, I'm just saying, thinking that C is Christian, or maybe it's Catholic. J is Jewish. P is Protestant, U, Unidentified. Ethnic Insight, State Codes. Sales Channel. B, C, D, N, T, V, different channels. T is telesales, B is broker, C is captive, D is direct. Here we have the generation clusters, okay? Have them all here. Um, then we have here. So here we have all our data, and we can see for each one, it's going to say for the categorical ones, like response channel code, which is categorical, three categories, it's going to list how many there are. So we already know that there's 107,000 records where they came in through the web, 905 through the phone, four through mail. So if mail is probably, you're not going to be able to do any much analysis with this one. Now, same thing for event ID, there's many others, they list a few. Now, agent site, it says the mean, the average, is 45.68. The median is 46, first quartile 40, third quartile 52. They seem to be pretty much centered around here, through this between the 40 and the 52 range. And that seems pretty uh, reasonable. The max 99, well, we may think that this may not be exactly a, um, a true, or it could be. Uh, then we have... Again, many other variables where the continuous ones, again, you'll have the minimum, the maximum, the median, the mean, first, qual first quartile, third quartile. If you're wondering where that second quartile is, that's the median. So, here we have all this rich information. Now, we get into, again, a little bit more of some basics. And it's pretty repetitive. I don't think you're going to gain too much more insight here. Okay? But you can see that, again, religion, you have 24% are Christian or Catholic, whatever that is. 4% is Jewish. P is Protestant at 59%. U is unidentified, or maybe they're just atheists at 13%. Okay. Now, here we have some other information. Okay. When we asked here for basics, kurtosis, skewness, so forth. This is actually another, I like this way personally, because it gives me number of observation. NAs are missing. Minimum zero. Maximum 99. So I know that somebody that's zero year, eight years of age shouldn't be buying insurance. However, a parent could be buying insurance for that zero year old. We have all this information, but also we have the skewness and kurtosis. Skewness and kurtosis, when they are between minus 3 and positive 3, is actually a good thing. Or, let's just not say exactly a good thing, but rather, let's say that we can infer that the distribution is a normal distribution because it's not really skewed to one side or the other if it's between minus 3 and 3. In kurtosis, again, it's not very peaked, it's not very flat. Okay, The mean and the median are also very close together. So this is all very indicative of a normal distribution. Okay, Now, if we look at donor percent, we see the same thing. Mean and the median pretty close together. Skewness and kurtosis very actually very close to zero. Very, very... Um, normally distributed. Green insight. Now when we get into home values, we actually see that it is skewed. It is skewed to the right. So that means that there's very, very few people with very, very expensive homes. And that's that 14. And we see it's very, very peaked. That means that most people are probably centered around that average. Okay, or actually that median of 168. Okay, the reason why the mean is somewhat higher than the median is those 
very rich people that are far, far out over here. And again, uh, they're skewing this. So home value insight. So this leads us to another place where we can go, which is distribution. So if I go to home value insight, I am going to go and take a histogram, and I should see it very peaked and skewed to the right. So we're going to hit that little execute button, and let's see if I don't have to install 34 different more packages. Nope, I don't. So here we have it. This is, no matter what I do to this graph, stretching and stretching it. We can actually see how there's, again, these few people over here, very, very wealthy people in our data, are skewing this. But most people are centered around here. So, again, don't worry. You don't need a $10 million house. Most people don't have one. But most people don't need one. Now, I actually would like to save this. Well, again, if all you need to do is hit that Save button. And it'll save as a PDF here in the folder that you specify. Now, going back to age, I am going to do my box plot. So, just out of curiosity, I'm going to hit that execute button for that box plot. And I get three box plots. Oh, required to install more things. Okay, so it's very, very difficult to see because there's not too much of a difference between those that convert over here versus those that don't. But actually, those that do convert are just slightly older, just slightly older. We can also see that the width of this box plot shows that there's much fewer people converting than they are not converting. And this is everyone. somewhat insightful here. So, I was wondering here with the ethnicity. I don't know. Get myself into trouble here talking about ethnicity. I'm going to hit the execute here. Obviously I need to install 10 more packages. Okay. So, again, I really can't really distinguish here. You know, it's giving me all non-converters, converters. converters uh, not too sure. What we can do is use the mosaic. The mosaic puts everybody at the same level. So, let's try that. Okay. So, again, we, the width is the volume of people. But we can see that this ethnicity which I believe is D, it seems like somewhat higher than the rest, okay? A is similar, but again, this is much higher. 